Let's try this again. This is my third take, so we're gonna get it right this time. Hey everyone, this is Kay Short, and welcome to Short Talk Sunday. Today I'm talking about giving back and reaching back for others. And so the reason why I wanna talk about that is because this week has been a very busy week. We did a triality event this week on Wednesday. Yesterday I went to the Future Sun Devils, Future Sun Devils Family facilitator training, and I woke up at 6 a.m. Yeah, it's still summer in my mind. The reason why I want to talk about reaching back, giving back, is because it makes me think about this one speech that Michelle Obama did when President Obama was still in his first term. And she talked about like reaching back for others. Like if we're privileged enough, taking the opportunities that have been given to us, we can reach back for others and bring them up to where we're at. And it made me think about my experience of being born and raised in Maryville, going to Flagstaff, being out of that fishbowl, going into another fishbowl, com being completely culture shocked, Flagstaff life being completely different from va the valley life. Then they come back to the valley after being there for six years and being culture shocked, coming back and being culture shocked again and being like, wow, I cannot believe I was born and raised here. Like. I was born and raised in Maribel, how did I survive type of thing. And to really think like, wow, it's really as bad as people thought it was. What I learned in college especially was this one statistic that I use in all of my speeches. It talks about the world being condensed to 100 people. So if we can condense the world to 100 people, it says that, you know, so many people identify this way, so many people are going through that, so many people are, can and can't do this, so many people can and can't do that. But the one statistic that always stands out to me is that one out of 100 people have a college degree. If the world were condensed to 100 people, only one would have a college degree. And that completely blows my mind because I feel like my generation especially, we're taught that everyone's getting a college education and a, a college education, at least a bachelor's degree, doesn't mean anything. It's becoming equivalent to a high school degree. But I don't think that's the case because coming back and realizing it really feels like I'm the 1% and not really thinking about like Bill Gates 1%, Oprah Winfrey 1%, whatever, but really seeing the value of an education. And like I said, it's not even just formal education, just education in, in itself. After being out of the system for a year and a half now, especially being with, uh, the tra with the trainers and the facilitators yesterday, it was just so refreshing to be with them. It was so refreshing to be like, wow, this is this is what I was learning. This is what I was surrounded by for six years. And the fact that it's been slowly seeping out of my ears because I haven't been keeping up with like formal education. When I think about us being the 1%, really thinking about how privileged we are to be the 1% who have a college education, like to not think that it's just a college education, it's just like a high school degree. No, because especially if you had the opportunity to live the college life and then live in a residence hall and go through all that, like we got an experience that millions of people will never get to experience. And so when I think about us being the 1%, I think about two things. We could give back to others or we could reach back and bring others with us. I feel like that's what I'm doing with Trality. I'm trying to reach back and be like, hey students, you could do it too, you could do it too, I did it too, and we gotta get out of this fishbowl because this fishbowl is a little tainted right now, it's a little dirty and there's cleaner fishbowls um, that we could play in. Or we could give back. And like, I feel like I'm giving back with these videos because everything that's in here that I learned for six years and being in the educational system, I just want to give it back to people who are online on their tablets. Be like, yo, like this girl is trying to tell us something that there's something more to life out there. And she's trying to teach us what she's learned and all that stuff. If you cannot give back and we cannot reach back, the least we can do in the world is if we can't help other people, at least don't hurt them. At least don't hurt them. That's just my experience with this past week um, after doing Trality, after doing the, the facilitator training and just kind of realizing that we are a lot better off than we think we are because there's a lot going on out there, my friends. And so all we can do is give back, reach back, and if we can't help them, let's not hurt them. This is Kay Short. Welcome to Short Talk Sunday. I know that was a lot. But that's just what I've been thinking about after those two experiences. Just realizing that we're very privileged to be in the place that we're at. Just don't take it for granted. But the least we can do is just, just help a little and just do our part in the world. So this is Kay Short, and welcome to Short Talk Sunday. Thank you all for listening. I really appreciate it. And make sure to share this video if you agree with me. I'll see you all next Sunday. All right? Bye. Oh, and one more thing. NAU. Just want to rep y'all. I know y'all are starting school tomorrow. You know, I'm repping y'all all day, every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> Even if I'm in a room, room full of sun devils, I'll always say, go Jacks.
it's a little crazy for me to not be in school and to not be having another first day of school and not being in Flagstaff. But I think about you all every single day because luckily my apartment's facing north and I may not see that beautiful mountain, but everyone that's up there, I just wanna let you know that I miss you and I love all of you. And thank you all for supporting me and for giving me the tools <laughs> to make a difference in the world, to keep doing good work because they need us. And we can't stop now. I promise to give you all a visit soon. As soon as I can, I have to go see those winter wonderlands up there. I'll see you all soon. I love you.